Good day guys, Motorrad Mania here. Today we're doing a thorough test and a review of a R18 BMW. From all the tests, I've had it in the rain. I've had it in traffic. I had it on the country roads. And I've had it on the freeway. So I basically covered everything. I did 300 kilometers today with this motorcycle. And I think I can give a good review of what to expect from this motorbike. And uh, yes guys, stay tuned, check this out. I'm gonna have some nice photos and footage and I'll speak to you guys in a second. Just wait for my wife so that she can ride in front and then I'll follow her. It's quite overcast, it's a hope the uh, photos will come out to ride today and uh, but we'll see the footage in just a while. Yes, I think I'm going to meet my wife where I'm going to turn off, so I'll, I'll leave her behind now and just I think this is a good spot to do my review on the bike quickly. Okay, here comes my wife and I can put my helmet and everything inside the car and get all my camera equipment and then I'm ready to start with my review. Well, good morning people. Isn't this the most exciting news from BMW this year so far? I've been waiting a long time to do a review on the R18 and the day has finally come. I just want to do a special thanks to Jared Foster from Rustenburg Motorrad. BMW who gave me the opportunity to do a test on this bike and well today it finally happened we are here in just outside of Rustenburg there's a lot of sheep and chickens running around and you can hear the, the farming sounds and uh, yeah guys I'm gonna do a long distance ride with this I'm gonna do commuting in town as well through the traffic and just to go through some specs on this bike, this bike is uh, 345 ki uh, kilograms. It's a 1800cc boxer motor from BMW. It's the biggest boxer motor that I've ever fitted in a, in a uh, motorbike. So this is something quite special and I love boxer motors. This motor produces 91 horsepower. Doesn't sound a lot, but here's where it comes in. It's got 150 newton meters of torque. Now that is insane, that is a lot of torque for, for a motorbike and you can feel it, once you pull away there's tons and tons of power and um, yeah you can look your caravan at the back of this bike and it will pull it with a smile and yeah guys it's got a 6 speed gearbox and the whole bike is built in Berlin so the Germans did it right with this uh, motorbike of theirs it's not something that they gave to another country to build. This, the whole bike has been built in Berlin and everywhere there is, uh, it reminds you that it's Berlin built, on the speedo Berlin built. Uh, another nice feature that I like about this bike, your front brake. It, it brakes, the front brakes and the back brake at the same time. Where with your pedal for the back brake, it will only brake your back brake. 
So yeah, that's quite nice. It's got correction control, ABS, the words, it's got different settings. There's even reverse uh, gear on this. So if you want to park your bike, you can put it in reverse and, and, and it will reverse. Guys, when BMW started to look at this bike four or five years ago, they took the, the R5, a 1936 model, and they did a complete, almost a complete copy of that bike. You will see if you've got the two photos next to each other. It, it looks a lot like the R5, it's just much bigger. It's a bigger motor, um, especially for long distance cruising, you need a bigger motor. It's got the same teardrop uh, fuel tank. And guys, even if you look at the, at the shaft drive, it's exactly like the R5. It's an open shaft drive. It is beautiful. I'm so glad they did that and they didn't put the housing around there so that you can see that the shaft drive working. It's just um, beautiful. It's got uh, fishtail exhausts. Well, that is not everybody's style, but there is an option for, for, for round pipes as well. So you don't have to use the, fish, uh, the fishtail pipes. Um, there's a lot of chrome, especially with the black. The black color just brings back to this retro feeling, you know. And um, I hear there's going to be different options for colors, but black suits this bike 100%, especially with the crown. And yeah, if you if you look at the, the old style mirrors and uh, the pickers I've got on, guys, everything is just, well, BMW, BMW, you did an excellent job with this bike. It's got the daylight um, front light. So that people can see you while you're driving, like the cars has got, you know, the BMW cars and all most of the other cars has got a, a, a daylight light. Now this has also got a daylight uh, light on it. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> BMW, ma, BMW. <laughs> you can just listen to the children as I go by. BMW, ma, BMW, that's a BMW, ma, <laughs> and they're quite excited, just like I am. These guys, uh, I'm going to start doing um, some riding now, and um, I just want to say this is an excellent product that, BMW, that BMW has brought out, and it's a true BMW, guys. Uh, there's nothing of a copy from any other, from any other manufacturer. This is BMW, BMW. Boxer motor, decent, and the best of all, bold in Germany. When I say bold in Germany, I mean you can't beat German engineering. That's the best. Okay guys, it's time to hit the open road and um, I'm first going towards Mohalisburg and I'll go around 
from Gallis to, to Artis and from Artis back to Rastenburg and uh, I'll be doing basically what you can see here, mostly corners and stuff and I'm just checking out what this bike will give me um, towards stopping so this is just a and I can tell you guys now this isn't a slow bike not from pull away, not in top end, it moves. For a big bike like this, it really goes. Very stable, not once did I start to get scared of it. Um, you can see on the handlebars as well. This is a guinea fell, it almost committed suicide. I'm lucky that it didn't beat me because that thing will be unconscious. And um, yeah, you can see it's just a beautiful day for, for cruising on a cruiser. Guys, I must say, on these back roads, um, it's more like a country back roads. This bike is just, it's such a pleasure just to sit there and uh, relax and take the corners. I'm just gonna stop here for some photos and then um, I'll proceed with my journey. My little top pocket camera. That's what you've got to do if you've got no camera crew. Quick free photos and then I'm off again. If I can talk about the seating position, it's very comfortable. Uh, not once that I feel cramped, although you're sitting very low, but I mean it's a cruiser, so it's a cruiser style, you will be sitting low. And uh, I found it very comfortable. A lot of, I've seen a lot of reviews where people complain or they say, yeah, I have this bike do on a long journey. I mean, I did 300 kil uh, kilometers today without any problem. Um, it, it didn't even cross my mind that's how comfortable I was in this bike just look at that massive motor that's the cockpit view very stable guys now what I'm gonna do now is I'm in, in six gear I'm taking it down to 80 kilometers an hour then I'm just gonna open the throttle now look at this 80 100 120 and 140 just like that in six gear I mean this bike has got so much torque just once you in, in uh, once once you go down to 80 kilometers an hour, you don't need to gear back. You can sit there in six gear, and if you need the power, you just open that throttle, and the bike just pulls like like a steam train. These back roads are so nice to ride with a motorbike. Guys, and I'll tell you one thing. I saw a lot of motor, uh, motorcyclists and uh, even guys in the cars when they see this bike they just you can see the eyes following you
Just see how this bike handles all these little dips in the right. How's it? I'll quickly stop here as well for a nice photo shoot. Guys, just look at this mat. This is going to give me such nice reflection, so I'm just going to stop in the mat here and uh, quickly pull out my SLR and take some decent photos. Perfect. Just look at that. Isn't that a magnificent photo? Beautiful. There was a guy on the GS1250, I uh, asked him to take a couple of photos, there he is on the right hand side. And um, he quickly helped me out to take a photo with me standing next to the R18. Guys, now while I'm at the dam, I'm quickly going to visit my favorite, favorite coffee shop, the Vitale, while I'm here, and uh, go and have a nice cup of chino. I should have had this bike come uh, this coming Sunday to come to the dam. I would have been the main attraction on, on this bike. That's it guys, I'm already starting to feel right at home here. Isn't that just beautiful? Such a nice setting for a good photo. Oh, just look at that nice cup of chino. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm heading to the highway, or the freeway, and um, now I've got uh, like another hundred and, yeah, say hundred uh, kilometers to do because I'm going past uh, Buffelspoor Dam, up to Olifons Nack Dam, and then Rustenburg, so that will be about 120 kilometers that I'm still going to do. I'm feeling much less wind than I normally would on my R90 because I'm sitting much lower on this uh, R18. Guys, now look at the way I go through these um, circles. I mean, this bike can be thrown around, you can throw it into a corner with confidence. It's not that you feel uh, yes, something is going to touch now. Um, you'll see when I go through the corners, you can carry quite a bit of speed through these corners. And it handles perfectly well. Through the traffic as well.
345 kilograms. Once you're moving, you don't notice it. Now guys, that was quite some nice fun. Now I'm entering Rustenburg. I'll just quickly work my way through the traffic here. Guys, there's one thing you have to remember, this motor is very wide. But as you can see, um, it's easy to negotiate your way through traffic. You just have to keep in mind that this motor isn't your normal boxer motor. Just have a look at these two photos I'm going to show you now. This one is where I stopped at the full square dam. Now look at the back. Isn't that just the most beautiful view? But look how wide that motor is. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind is when you go through traffic, don't misjudge yourself. Um, but like I say, luckily if you're used to boxer motors, you just have to keep a little bit more space. But it's easy to, to negotiate your way through traffic. Well guys, BMW is just over this bridge, we're on the other side. And again, I just want to thank Jared Foster for giving me the opportunity to test ride this bike. And uh, guys, if you in the market for R18 or any of the other BMW motorbikes, I can really um, uh, recommend Jared and you can give him a call in uh, Motorrad Rustenburg and he has got stock available for the R18 as well and the shop is quite well stocked he's got a lot of um, space under, under, uh, in, in, in the garage as well and um, yeah with today's ride I must say I'm very impressed with the R18 I've, I've seen a lot of reports and I read a lot of uh, um, comments people gave to me this was a very stable bike it was very comfortable as well um, doesn't matter what you throw at it if it's uh, traffic or corners or a freeway not once that I feel uncomfortable or or not sure of myself uh, it's an easy bike to ride and um, yeah, if I had space in my garage for a cruiser, this is the cruiser I would have bought. Guys, thanks again for watching and see you in my next video. Thanks. Cheers.